Hello and welcome to Quick Tip 71 and Gold Pass member asked me how you'd go about creating a simple program that drew vertical lines when there was uh, an average moving average cross and in this case what I've created is a program when the slow moving average crosses above the fast moving average then we get this vertical line. So very simple program let me just show that to you. We're plotting the average, the 14 period moving average of the close, and we're plotting the seven period moving average of the close. And when they cross, in other words, we can say if plot one crosses over plot two, then we need to draw our vertical line. So the syntax is actually quite straightforward. We only have one, we're using BN point, we could use DT point, date time point, but we're using BN point, which is bar number point. And we can set the bar number point up by adding max bars back minus one to the bar number and then we can just put in zero for the price so that is the bn point and we're creating the line using that so the syntax is vertical line dot create and uh, with any of these things if you have the autocomplete switched on you can see what the options are so for example if we did vertical line dot then you can see create and then it's also going to give us some information about creating it and in this case, it's saying DT point. If we were just to go down these options here, we could also find BN point. You'll also notice that in the, the example it's giving us here, it's saying EL system dot drawing objects dot BN point, whereas I've just used BN point. And the reason for that is we've already got the various namespaces set up, including EL system dot drawing objects and EL system dot drawing. Anyway, so we uh, we create this vertical line. We've got a, a variable set up called V line, and we say V line equals vertical line dot create, etc. We can change the color, and again, if you're not sure of the options here, you can just do dot, and then you'll see all the different options. So let's go back to dark orange. Uh, show date. So that shows, that gives us the information at the top of the screen, which is uh, useful to know the, uh, the date time. That is the date uh, time of the bar. And then having set up the vertical line, increase the weight to five, then we, we don't need that because that was just, uh, just demonstrating that to you. Then we need to add it, drawing objects dot add and V line to the chart. Now the default property of this is persist is false and what this means is that as the chart develops the line is drawn and then disappears but it is redrawn if the condition in other words the slow moving average is still above the fast moving average it will be redrawn and so long as that is true on the last tick of the bar then the line will remain and that stops us having to do anything special in terms of recognizing if the line is already drawn and then uh, if we had persist true we'd need to recognize that the line has been drawn so we would not redraw the line in fact this behavior is a little bit more like the behavior that you would get with legacy drawing objects anyway uh, hope hopefully you will find this useful thank you